they're going to drive over a bunch of U.S. dollars in a wheelbarrow, and they'll be worth three cents less per dollar to us. So it's like they brought over cheaper pens. We're not happy, so it's a loss. Therefore, we get a loss, and accounts receivable, and you just take the difference and multiply it. Then you get to the end of the year, and in this one, again, I split it into two. We adjust AR first. So we look here, and the US dollar went up. Is that good or bad for us? Good for us because we're getting US dollars. So we're getting dollars that are actually worth more. That's a good thing. So that's going to be a gain. You take the difference, tally up your accounts receivable. This comes from here, this comes from here, and they should be equal if you've done it right. So <coughs> that's example two. Um, <coughs> the last little bit on this um, section, uh, you can just read yourself. So read through that. What you really need to know, and you can go through the example in next, you're going to translate interest expense at an average rate. Um, translate cash, if you need to, the currency. Cash at the closing rate. And the difference is a gain or a loss. <coughs> okay, so we did an import and export and we should be good for that. Okay, I'll do part C in another video.